Hey everybody, it's the uh, same old day here, and uh, what I wanted to show you guys today, specifically, is nothing special. Anyways, skipping to this. Uh, as of right now, I have a... let's uh, do that. As of right now, I have a desktop that kind of like revolves, you know, um, when uh, it's plugged in. And so I have like, this is the first, and it goes to this, this, Death Note, what, another one? Uh, FMA, a forest, Code Geass. You can see like, there's an anime theme going on here. What? Ichigo, Invader Zim, uh, Naruto. I, I just know this, how these are like all anime. Um, mm, cough, nerd. Anyways, I'm back to my game, y'all. What's this on? Easy. Anyways, um, so as you can see, what the Aether mod? Oh. Uh, okay, so what I did here was I did a, basically a map. Where's my dirt? No one. Uh, basically, what I did was I just created a map and I was like, oh, all right, fast thing to get to the nether to get some glowstone to get some go to the aether. And I did that as fast as I could. And uh, yes, and let's let's see what I got here. Uh, I'm gonna bring two hammer of notches with me. You know what? I already have. I'm already using this one. I'll bring a flaming sword, a lightning knife, some pickaxes, some xanite tools. Um, sand. Let me bring some wood, embers and shards. Don't let me use embers. I have all the books of lore. I'm pretty sure I have all of them. Gold notes. Uh, I don't know any of that. I need this. Uh, carved stone. Maybe some sentry stone. Some holy stone. Mossy just to mix it up. Bring some of this. And gravitite ore, just in case I want to make some gravitite items. Now this is spawned, you'll see I'm pressing O. I'm smashing that key. And uh, no too many items. And then, uh, let's see, do I need anything here? Yes. Alright. Time to bring this to the nether. Just kidding, not going here, going to the nether. Whoa. So I'm going to tell you guys a story <clears throat> that I just recently heard in uh, Calculus. Well, you know, what an interesting way to hear stories and interesting class to hear it in. Let's see what I have in here. Nothing important. Alright, so, while I'm playing, I'm going to give you guys a story. Uh, just to uh, listen to. Alright, so I was on, um, you know, I'll, I'll just start from, from the cap part. Alright, so. <clears throat> There's a... a Alright, so when you're a kid, right? You know, you're like one, you know, you, you, you're given toys and, uh, Stuff, but you don't really, you know, really like, like, enjoy the toys and start wanting them until you're like, you're like, what, like, uh, three? Or two or something? Yeah, two or three, I don't know. But, uh, so there's this, uh, kid named, uh, Johnny, right? And Johnny, there's this kid named Johnny, okay? And what, uh, Johnny, for his third birthday, his parents are like, hey, Johnny, uh, so you finally turned three, and, uh, what do you what do you want to do? What do you want to get for your birthday? What do you want your present? He's like, um and he thought and he thought and he thought and he's like, um I want some pink uh ping pong balls. And they're like, okay, so they got him some pink ping pong balls, you know, and um they got him those and they, he turned uh five, and, you know. Five's oh my gosh. He turned five and five's an important year. And uh he's they're like, Hey, uh so Johnny, uh what 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 do you want for your birthday? And he's like um, and he thought about it, and he thought, and, uh, he really, he really thought about it hard, and he said, I, I want some pink ping pong balls, and they said, okay, and they got him some pink ping pong balls, and turned seven, and they said, uh, so Johnny, it's your, uh, birthday, like, and you're really, you know, special, and you, what do you want for your birthday, um, this year, he said, and he, he thought, and he's, hmm, 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 and he thought hard, and he said, uh, you know, I really want some pink ping pong balls. So they got him some pink ping pong balls. And then he uh, turned 11. And they said, uh, Johnny. He's like, no, I, I go by John now. And uh, they said, like, okay, I'm um, John. All right. It's, uh, you know, very important year for you. You're like, you know, two digits now. And, uh, you know, you're two digits for the rest of your life. Um, unless you hit 100. So he's like, all right, so this is a really big year for you. Like, what do you want uh, for your birthday? He said, um... I, I want some pink ping pong balls. And, uh, so then he turned, uh, 13. Like, hey, you know, it's your, you know, 
you know, you're 13 years old, like, it's, you know, it's a really, you know, special year for you. I haven't built a house, so I'm going to start doing that. Um, so a really special year for you. Uh, what do you, what do you want for your birthday? And he's like, ah, I mean, what, I just skipped it, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, he's 13, he gets pink ping pong balls. He, then they, uh, he turns, uh, 16, and like, and you know, that's like when people want cars and anything, they're like, hey, hey, you know, you've been a very, um, low maintenance, uh, child for your, you know, your whole life, and you can have anything you want. Anything. And, like, you know, most people are, like, when they're 16, they're like, oh, you know, I want a car. And so, like, you know, you turn um, 16, and like, what do you want for your birthday? You can have anything. You say, anything, really. And they're like, yeah, 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 you can have, yeah, you can have anything. And, uh, and he's like, oh, okay, um, I'd like some ping pong balls. And like, he said, okay, and they got some ping pong balls. Uh, then he turned uh, 18, you know, he's legally adult now, and you can, you know, gamble and do whatever you want. Basically, you're a legal adult. And they said, uh... Hey, uh, Johnny, he's like, no, 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 I go by Johnny now. He's like, oh, all right, oh, okay. So, um, they said, oh, what do you want? This is a really special day for you. And you're, you're turning 18. It's a really big day. And he's like, what do you, uh, want for your birthday? And he's, he said, uh, I really want some pink ping pong balls. So they got some pink ping pong balls. So then, uh, they turned 21. And then, you know, that's, that's a big day. They can finally drink and, uh, do what y'all want. So, uh, he turned, he turned, uh, 21, you know, I said, hey, you know, it's a very special day. What do you want for your birthday? You know, have whatever you want. And he said, um, and he thought hard about it. He said, hmm. yeah, I, I really want some pink ping pong balls. And then, then he turned, uh, they turned 25 and they said, uh, what do you, what do you want for your birthday? And he said, he said uh, and he thought about it and he thought about it. And he said, I really want some pink ping pong balls. So they got him pink ping pong balls. He turned 30, and you know, that's, you know, your life's completely over, you know, you're really old, and some people start feeling really, uh, old, uh, by that time in their lives, and they're really depressed, and they said, hey, uh, John, Johnny, it's your 30th birthday, and we're still giving you crap, uh, and you're 30, you feel, um, feel braced, and he did, and, um, he turned, he, he's turned 30, and they said, hey, what do you want, uh, for your 30th birthday, and he said, um, I really want some pink ping pong balls. So then, uh, when he, you know, he's 30, and he got, uh, into a van, and he had, uh, he took in all the ping pong balls, uh, he gotten over the years, you know, he had thousands of them, and he, uh, this is a bronze dungeon, by the way, and he put them all in his van, and, you know, it was, it was just absolutely stacked, you know, from, like, uh, you know, bottom to top of the van, and it was, like, completely, you know, it was full. And they said, uh, and he started, he started, you know, he took the ping pong balls and loaded them all up, and he, he started driving, and they, he was on the freeway, and all of a sudden, BAM! A semi hit him! And he, uh, he, he didn't, um, he didn't, you know, he wasn't that good after that. He was in the, in the hospital, and, and his, uh, parents came to him, and they're like, hey, uh, we, and he, like, the doctor came up, and they're like, hey, uh, your son's not doing too well, so they went, they went to see him, and, they said, hey, uh, we really got to ask, after all these, uh, all these years, um, what, what were the pink ping pong balls for? And he said, uh, he said, oh, those, well, you know, I, I had a perfect reason for them. And they said, oh, okay, uh, what, what was the, what was the reason? And he, uh, he, he was, like, really, like, oh, sick. And so, they said, what was the reasoning? And he he said, well, and he was like, uh, he said, like, like, you know, like, leaning closer, and you know, like, like, okay, and lean closer, and he's, uh, and he's, and he said, the reason for the pink ping pong balls was, uh, uh, boom, and he died, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's the basis of, uh, what happened for the pink ping pong balls, that's exactly what went down, and, uh, yeah, you're probably like, oh my gosh, you put me through that much just to hear that, and yeah, I, I did feel blessed for um, getting to hear that. So uh, that's that's uh, what goes on, and I can uh, tell um, just by uh, how I tell the story that you guys are probably just like, um, I kind of want to kill you right now, and you know, you know I would too. So, uh, but here's the thing about this story. The thing is that uh, 
you obviously hate it, but like you gotta tell someone. And once you once you tell someone, you'll uh, feel a lot better. And uh, so when you when you um, go, you know, go ahead and tell people, tell people what I uh, shared with you. And once you do, believe me, you'll uh, you'll come around. You'll you'll have a big smile on your face. And you're like, all right, that was a really good story. But you know, the rest of you are gonna finish out your day, and you're like, okay, I really freaking hate you. Thank you. And, you know, I'm gonna be like, hey, 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 I love you too. You know? It's gonna be all good. So, thank you for keeping uh, with me for that whole thing and uh, sharing my story. And, uh, yeah, so now we're just gonna go on to the video, uh, which I don't have planned for anything. So, let's just see how it goes. Let's do one right there, there. Follow the yellow brick road. Um, get some more. Carved stone there. So anyway, about the Aether. Um, it's very interesting. It's full of very cool things. Uh, you have you seen uh, stuff that I've done? And uh, if you see right here, the Hammer of Notch, the Flaming Sword, and the Lightning Knife. Those are all from this bronze dungeon right here that I'm staying on top of, and building my certainly awesome placed house. Um, so you can only get those in the dungeons. In the uh, I'm not sure you know which ones possibly can there be in, uh, but I know I got those from the bronze dungeon, so that's very interesting and easy. Then, uh, if you want stuff, you can go like, the silver dungeons and gold and whatnot. It's very simple, and you gotta defeat it. Uh, I will say, um, how to beat the bronze dungeon. Go around, there's sentries that, you know, block your way, um, among other things. Uh, but when you, when you get to, like, the boss, he's gonna be resting, and he's like this little, you know, closed eye thing, and uh, you're, you're like, alright, how do I beat him? Because like, he's just, he just floats around and completely screws with you, basically. And so if you're wondering how you beat him, okay, what you do is you can only kill him with a pickaxe. It sounds dumb. I know. I'm with you. It does sound dumb. I'm sorry. So that's that's how you beat the bronze dungeon bosses. There's usually, I saw about two. I had to kill two. In order to, uh, you know, do whatever. Uh, you kill one, and he'll drop a key. And with said key, you, uh, little, the perch that he was standing on will open up. And it has two trap door, no, four trap doors. And once you get into that, you use the key, uh, use the key that he dropped. Um, so don't put that into vain. Use that. So you use the key that he dropped. Oh, that's unfortunate. I can use this sentry stone. Bam. So you use the key that he dropped, and once you you unlock a chest, then you can open the chest and, you know, go banana crazy. And that's basically, you know, you know bronze, bronze dungeons. That's the intro to bronze dungeons, basically. Very simple. So with that in mind, I can take you down there. Once I just get to this little house I go in. Let's let's do this. I'm feeling very festive. I'm feeling like a torch bonanza. I want light everywhere. Light skip to loo my da oh, poor. I'm sorry ladies if that offended you. I know I have some ladies out there who watch my channel. Some old, some young, you know, I don't judge. It's all good. It's all in the name of gaming. I don't mind. Let's see here. Yes! Bam! Essential adequacy. Yeah, I don't mind that. That sounds cool. Gravitate ore. I think I'll put that in here. Bam. Bam. Uh. That just happened. Okay. I'm going to be more careful where I place these. I don't want that to happen again. <laughs> these are very essential stones. They're very precious to my heart. Alright, so I got everything in my awkward, awkward roof. Um, let's just skip down here. Fua! Fua! Uh, yeah, okay. 
Uh, Alright, so here's basically what it is. Um, so you're going to walk in here, and there's just going to be this guy, like, uh, closed eyes on its little square guy cube, on right here. And uh, you can only kill him with pickaxe, so make sure to have, like, two of these. And here's your chest, and it'll be locked, of course. And then, like, sometimes this closes, I'm not sure, all the time. Uh, then there's, like, lots well, of sentry, that these are the, the main guardians, not like Valkyries or anything. Um, then there's these chests among the areas. And as you can see, there is... There's a sentry. Um, as you can see, there is, like, gaps, though. Watch it turn on. Bam! Get out. Uh, that's where I found my gravitite down there. Uh, so it's, it's gonna look like this, basically, and he's gonna be perched on top of it. Then it opens up once you kill him. So that's the basis. I really want to get out of here. And I want to show you these weapons. These are very, very cool weapons. These, this hammer of notch, this flaming sword, and uh, these lightning knives. So let me just get out of here. Uh, I don't know how to get out of here exactly. Besides, so skip to Lou, my darling. Da, da, da. Oh, what the f was that? That was a sentry, I think, or something that's like blew up around my face. And yay, I have something to eat. Yum. I never had anything to eat. It's always just crap. Oh, it's junk food. Nah. Yes, perfect. All right. Anyways, um, f. Yes. Gracious fortitude. Where is a monster I can kill? Put this on hard. I command the heavens to spawn monsters. I found one golden pig, but I lack a saddle, so. Because this is legit. And then I don't know where the pig went. He flew off into Wonderland. And as you see, there's a lot of uh, xanite ore and the whole ambrosium shard stuff. And I would like to uh, note that wood pickaxes are pretty bomb because they drop like double over your killing or, you know, dropping. And then, uh, then, whoa. And, uh, whatchamacallit? Oh, okay, holy stone, cool. And, um, stone drops ambrosium shards every once in a while. And then, you know, xanite just gets stronger as it dies. And, uh, the hover ore thing, <coughs> gravitite. Uh, that can float objects like by right clicking them, so they'll disappear in the sky if you don't want to mine it. It's very cool. But it's always underground, it flies to ceiling. Oh my gosh, is that an arrow whale? <sighs> Let's go and explore. Alright, so as we gracefully go up to the whale, what accent is that? As we gracefully go up to the whale, whose head's stuck in a wall, we place the light down next to it and see what happens. And we sneak up very slowly not to scare it. Oh, his eye just popped out. And he's, he's noticed us. He's noticed us. Back away slowly. Let's see if we can kill him. No damage is not inflicted. And he just popped out. Gracious fortitude. What a large, magnificent creature. Yeah, he's pretty much... Yeah. What a large creature that you can't do anything about. Ah, uh, inside my arrow whale. Alright. Um, besides that really weird uh, accent, uh, and the pain of dying, let's go over here and try to find something we can mash it up. What time am I at? 19 minutes. I would like, to, oh my goodness. I would like to say that I can do 19 minute shows now. Because I can upload longer than 15 minutes. And that was my really goal of this video was to tell my ping pong ball story whoa, please go away. To tell my ping pong ball story that I um gracefully had to tell you guys to get off uh, my mind and keep me sane from um dying from that story's evilness. And uh Yeah, so that was my main part of the story. I just really wanted to make a video longer than fifteen minutes because I've not had a real ability to do that lately. Um I just got some free time. I really just want to see something I can kill. Just something. Just one. Just something I can demonstrate. 
Uh, oh look, a silver dungeon. I will do that in my next video, because this is not the same map as I did my last silver dungeon that I called bronze. <laughs> yep. Look at that graceful water, it stops midair. Let's see here. Um, uh, strength to see. Mr. Control me. Oh my gosh, Maroon 5 plus I have. Oh, it's in her. <laughs> oh my gosh, these guys. Alright, watch this. I'm gonna own these guys. Oh, F. Bam! What just happened right there was it shot a burst like, like that out of the hammer. It's pretty much, you know, God of Thunder type deal. And it pretty much owns everything. This uh, sword of fire, once you hit it, hit something, it uh, it lights it on fire. Uh, monsters only, of course, I would expect. Uh, you know, good way to get uh, cooked pork, you know, without having to use a stupid uh, lighter and uh, flint and steel, you know, to hit the ground and try to cook them that way. Um, I'm not sure the range on this. Let me try that out right now, actually, since I have like 5 billion. Boosh. Oh, it basically shoots iron. Alright, fun. Um... Let's see here. Is there anything else I can test these out on? I really want to crack, um, open a bottle on some hose. Uh, if you so may. Oh, look, golden, uh, oak thingamagoogers. Oh no, my health is going down. So yeah, I've, I've gotten these a couple times. Um, as you can see by those saplings I showed you guys earlier. Um, I really just want to find something to zap. Anyways, I'll show you one of these. They're one use, but you go, BAM! And like, that was completely depressing. I'm going to say that right now. Um, you go, BAM! And lightning hits it, and it lights on fire, and it's freaking intense. So all in all, it's a very good time. Uh, I will have to demonstrate these in a later time. And, um... On a side note, <laughs> uh, Misa. All right. On a side note, um, yes, I would like to just you know say you guys you know thanks for everything. And uh, if I could rotate this stupid green box that's being recorded on my desktop, um, I would show you my awesome taskbar. As you can see right here, um, it disabled. Uh, it disables the arrow, which I'm gonna call it thing. When recording, um, yes, it disables like the whole thing. So this toolbar is usually black, but you uh, you can't even see the taskbar. But it's usually black, and it's uh, got white icons on it. It's very sexy. It goes with my black desktops. And uh, so to wrap up this video, that's way longer than 15 minutes. I would like to um, just say, you know, watch out for my next Aether videos because I'm really in love with this mod, and it's the best and you should download it and you should do it now and you should, yeah just do it now yeah thanks alright so no I'm still here just kidding um but yeah definitely tell that ping pong uh, story to everyone you know you can modify it and stuff so uh with that in mind uh tell everyone that story and I'll talk to you guys later bye